Hi, I'm Dr. Deanne Rudden, your 50 plus marketplace news column writer and owner of Longmont Hearing and Tinnitus Center. Today I want to tell you about advances in audiology research. Restoring hearing is still beyond the range of current technology. Research brings solutions closer every year. Recent discoveries provide new understandings about how we hear, which may lead to new treatments. The auditory system is a very complex sensory organ. Doctors and scientists are still discovering how the ear and the brain function together to hear. We do know that fine microscopic hair cells within the cochlea are responsible for translating noises into sounds that the brain can understand. When these hairs die or are destroyed from age, loud noise, or chemicals, hearing loss occurs. Many scientists have been able to regrow sensory hair cells in the lab, but these must connect with nearby nerve cells for hearing to function properly. A number of pathways are needed for this to occur. The exact process is really still just a mystery. Recent studies revealed several methods activate the signal pathway. This could lead the way to restoring hearing. Scientists know when sound waves enter the ear, inner ear hair cells in the cochlea bend. This bending opens a pore on the hair cell allowing chemicals to enter the auditory nerve. This transfer is critical in converting sound to an electrical signal the brain can interpret. How to open that pore was unknown, but recently a protein was identified as the mechanical gatekeeper of the pore. Cochlear implants are surgically implanted and bypass the inner ear to send sounds directly to the brain. These are used by people with profound hearing loss. Due to difficulty in placing the implant into specific nerve cells, patients may experience distortion. Optogenetics, the use of light-sensitive proteins to control living cells, may solve that problem, but this technology is still in the experimental stage. Researchers are developing new drugs to treat damaged nerves in cells deep inside the ear. Fluid inside the cochlea moves constantly. Drugs placed in the fluid dissolve quickly or get swept away, making them effective. Scientists developed a protein that sticks to the cells and stimulates neurons to grow and start working again. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter for the latest hearing healthcare news. And don't forget to visit my website at www.longmonthearing.com. See my monthly column in the Boulder County edition of 50 Plus Marketplace News. You can also see my past columns and videos on their website at www.50plus.news or their Facebook page. Have a nice day.